So, someone's frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. Okay, Virgo, let's see what's going on here. <clears throat> so, this chaser, definitely the chaser could be lacking confidence, has a lot of fear. Remember, there was abandonment issues, maybe some jealousy, they don't feel good enough. Oh, okay. Two of Cups reversed. Wow, that's a breakup separation. They might have gone, somebody might have gone through something. <clears throat> Could have been with you. There might have been a breakup. And this person's tremendously restless if there was a breakup. Okay. Um, uh, it could have been with you. It could have been with somebody else. But even with that four of swords in the reverse, it's pure, the, it, the person is just, they're not at peace. They're, they're, they have a lot of anxiety, but they're ready to act. And that could be this person, okay? Ready to act towards you, okay? This person, it could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Um, this person wants you to be uh, greedy for them. Hmm. They don't have a lot of faith that some relationship of some sort, whether that you meet them new or you're already dealing with this. They don't have a lot of faith that this is going to work out for some reason. The, um, I feel like this person wants you to. I don't. I feel like they don't want. They don't want to have a breakup with you. They don't want you. They want you to be like super, super like excited about them and, and like always want to talk to them and that kind of thing, which is odd. Um, but it comes from their anxiety. They, they kind of picture like if you were if you are always reaching out and searching for them and chasing them in return, then to them that makes them feel like or they think that that is then you must want them. Right. And I mean, to some extent, yeah, you want to be reciprocal if someone's being that way with you, but it's, a, you can't go to like extremes, right? You can't go to extremes. Uh, let me see. Wow. All my cards are showing up in the reverse. The emperor in the reverse. Okay. You got a narc on your hands. Someone's very narcissistic or at least if they're not that Aries energy, um, in the reverse temper tantrum expect to have their own way a bit immature is what i'm going to tell you um just maybe even like a like just a big ego as well okay why isn't virgo like chasing me like i'm chasing them okay there's a bit of like in, in immaturity showing up here this person doesn't seem to be you know just kind of mature <laughs> I mean, I to say let me just get a couple more cards here Let's see what's going on with this emperor okay all right all right definitely you could be dealing with uh, someone who's just very all about themselves so keep that like that's why they don't feel like enough it's crazy right because that would be like an oxymoron like someone who's always about themselves would you would think they would always think that they were good enough but it's because they are don't think that they're good enough that they think that they are does that make any sense? Oh, hopefully. Um, it's the insecurity. It's like a false sense of self going on with this person. Okay. Um, now, I don't know if it's related to that. It could be that chaser energy. Um, but even with the five of wands in the reverse, this just kind of gives me a sense that this person is trying to resolve the problem that they have within themselves um, of being in of being insecure or not feeling good enough by if they know that you are more into them then that kind of fulfills fills up their ego hole i guess to say their ego hole <laughs> okay yeah even the six of wands in the reverse it's, it's just all it's the same they, they lack the confidence they come across as an emperor but they lack this this actual confidence within them, you know. And for some, it's not a narc; it's just someone who's like super, super insecure, and they they never feel good enough. And it's like no matter how much, no matter how many jars of good 
beautiful sparkles you pour into that hole of emptiness it just comes out the other end like it's a never it's an it's a unfulfilled prophecy with this person until they start accepting themselves and just saying hey wait i am good enough until they seal up that hole and fill themselves up with those beautiful sparkles this person um they they kind of try to it looks like Everybody around them that has good sparkles gives them good sparkles. They can't create their own. That's what I'm saying. What's going on with the sparkles? All right, let me see. What else is going on? King of Cups in the reverse. Okay, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Page of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, all reversals here. And the Six of Swords. So the King of Cups in the reverse is pretty much like an emotional a manipulator. Even the page of cups in the reverse as well is just someone who's very um, immature in their communication. Um, and with the six of swords in the reverse, this is basically just someone who's unable, like they, 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 they're stuck. You know what I mean? They're unable to like take a risk here. Very low on the confidence level. This person is just really low on the confidence level. They can't seem to everybody else has to be like um uh structured around them and then they feel structured if everyone around them is structured and like a safe uh like a like um like a safe place everyone around them then they feel safe but if all their safe places are gone and they're not tethered are grounded then they're a mess does that make sense so i mean i don't know why what does this have to do with you virgo because i feel like this person needs your energy is that like a vampire energy vampire or something i feel like this person it's sad because it's really hard but it's really important to gain that self-esteem and self-confidence you know it's really really important you, like you you have to be your own lighthouse in the world you know it can't depend on other people to provide all of your safety you have to rely on yourself because people make mistakes people are not you know people are fallible 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 people it's just a human nature like if, and regarding yourself making yourself your own safety net it's like either god or spirit or just within you to rely on you know having faith and i feel like this person they rely on you okay um and especially if this is someone new with the ace of cups over there that's something you need to pay attention to going forward no one can be everybody's light lighthouse you know what i mean that's kind of how I feel with this energy. And it doesn't mean to say, so, uh, you know, it, when we say this should resonate, it re should only resonate if, if this is happening to you or if you meet, you come across this energy and it starts happening to you. Don't put the energy on someone. Let that energy come to you and be like, oh, okay, that makes sense. You know what I mean? Yeah, this person is passive. They're so passive to the point well, they've been stuck before and they haven't really, they kind of, I, I almost want to say they've been stuck in their um, lack, lack of faith. Uh, Virgo, all I can tell you is about you. I mean, you bring faith to this person. So, you know, perhaps all the good you do will rub off on them. And hopefully this person will be able to take some of that and actually fill themselves up and let it stay you know um so that they have so that they start coming from a place of of wholeness i don't feel like this person feels whole and they won't feel whole without you um but hopefully like even with the hanged man this is kind of getting a different perspective and saying you know what you might teach this person that or you you might just that energy might rub off on you even with the six of pentacles in the reverse i'm sorry the five because that's an energy of being like <clears throat> that's like recovery like getting hope returns and seeing things from a different perspective <coughs> excuse me and even with the hanged man in reverse like that's a very spiritual card for me um it's a very faith-based card for me 
excuse me, you don't have to be a religious person. You could be agnostic or believe in something greater than yourself. This person, if, if I always say if you're not believing in a power greater than yourself, then, then you're making yourself the power. And I'm not a big fan of that idea, although I get it, why people do it. Um, but I, I think having a sense of humility can really restore our faith. If that makes any sense, maybe it doesn't. I don't know with you guys, but let me see. I just want to get, I'm going to pull two Chinese suns here. Okay. Near of the monkey, near of the rat. Okay. That might be you. Could be your person. Could be neither of you. Don't sweat it. All right. Let's see. Oh, okay. That fell. So someone is 58. We have the letter T. August 31st, they're giving me a uh, Taurus. You could be connecting with a Taurus. Another zodiac sign, Libra. Okay, someone's born in January and we do have, oh, 52 or 53, age or year. Okay, I just wanna get one more. Give me a September birthday. September 7th, okay? So if your birthday is September 7th, this could be for you. You also have two hearts here. So, um, the, what is happening? Dropping stuff. So you've got two hearts, two intertwined hearts. So this could be like a twin flame thing that's very difficult to deal with. Um, it doesn't feel like a soulmate. It feels more like, um, like, a, like the difficult twin flame kind of relationship, you know? Because um, the reason I say that, and not that I need to exp explain myself, but when I turn the hearts upside down, they look like flames that are intertwined. So I do kind of feel like th that energy is playing out where one hasn't risen exactly yet. And I'm not telling you to, to be a martyr. I'm not telling you to take on projects and people. I'm not... Just be who you are. Let your glow shine. Don't ever subdue it because someone doesn't feel good about themselves. You know, you don't want to lower yourself to make someone feel better about themselves. You you can give off the good energy and the good vibes, and, and that tends to help people want to kind of be better, be better people, or be a better person, you know? Um, lowering yourself to meet them does not help them. So if you're truly that Virgo that wants to help someone, whether it's a friend or family member, a twin flame, lover, whatever, stay who, stay the core of who you are. Be true to yourself. That's the strongest message I have there. Okay. Hey, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life.